In this lesson, we will cover the filter on the table. So we will add the filter to the fetch XML. So the first thing we do, this is our table, table for ID. And uh, this is the data inside it. I will correct my name. So the first thing we will do is to create a web template. So this is fetch XML with the filter condition first name equal to intikhab. So I put this and create a uh, web template first, power page management. Under web templates, new web template. This will be the source. Okay, and we will give it this name web template filter query one. The website this, and I'll put this code in the link of the video. So we duplicate this, and now we create the page template for this, and we will give it this name page template filter query one new page template filter query one web template save did we not choose or oh, we didn't choose the web web template if everything looks okay we'll sync it new page so new page custom one we can uh, the name is page template filter query so let's say page template filter query one this one page filter query one add tada now what if we change this to intercap two or intercap one sync We will not get anything here. So I replace back it to how it was and sync. And we will confirm that the filter is working. So this is fetch XML with filter. Fetch XML with filter. So this is how the filter is added. And I'll put this code in the comment section. 